Hi guys, today's paracord bracelet is called the Aztec Sunbar. It makes quite a chunky paracord bracelet and can store quite a lot of paracord. So let's get started. This is going to require two pieces of paracord. One piece here is a short piece and it is 120 centimeters or around about four feet and this one here is a longer piece and it is 320 centimeters or around about 10 and a half feet. So to start this one off we just need to find the center of each of our pieces here and I'm going to start with the shorter piece and I am going to just form a loop by taking the right hand strand over the left. Then I'm going to take my longer piece and I will tuck it up through that loop. And then I'm going to take this right side here and I'm going to tuck it down through the right hand side of this loop. And pull that all the way through. And then I'm going to take this left hand center strand and I'm also going to tuck that down through the loop on the left hand side this time. And then I can proceed to tighten the whole thing down. And we just want to make sure that this loop up the top here is around about a centimetre or half an inch. Once we've established our loop here at the top we can start our pattern and I'm going to do that by taking this very right hand strand over the right hand core strand and then up through that loop and pull it through just to create a half hitch. And then I'm going to tie another half hitch in the opposite direction by coming in underneath first and then going down through that loop. And if I tighten this one up I would have created a cow hitch or lark's head knot. And I'm going to repeat that process on the left hand side. So I'll take my left strand over that left hand core strand, then up through that loop. It's going to create my half hitch, and I can tighten that up. Then I want to do another half hitch by coming in underneath first and then down through that loop. Tighten that up and we should now have one cow hitch on the left and one cow hitch on the right. And I'm going to take my core strands and cross them right over left. Now I'm going to take my right core strand behind, just so it forms a diagonal back here. And I'm going to take the end and tuck it into the right side of that diagonal. And pull that through. Then I'm going to do the same with my left strand. I'm going to form this diagonal at the back here. I'm going to take my end 
and tuck it down through to the left side of that diagonal and pull that all the way through. And now I can just tighten this knot by pulling all four strands. Tighten up these two half hitches on either side and then close this loop down by pulling the center strands. And again, tighten the half hitches, make sure this is nice and firm. And then try and center these two side knots as much as you can. Then we can start our next series. So the next series will be a repetition of this first set that we did. So I'm going to tie a half hitch by coming in first over the top of that center right core strand and then come up through that loop to form a half hitch, which I'll then tighten. Then I want to form another half hitch by coming in underneath. So the first one is over and then the second one is under. And I'm going to come down through that loop. Then I can tighten this half hitch to form our cow hitch or lark's head and I want to repeat on this left hand side. So I'm going to take my strand over first. I'm going to take that behind and up through that loop. That's my first half hitch. Then I'm going to take it underneath and down through. And that will be my second half hitch to form my completed cow hitch or lark's head. Once I've formed my cow hitch either side, I just want to take these center strands and cross them right over left. And then take this right hand strand and form a diagonal here at the back just by coming in underneath and I'm going to take that strand up through the center of these two here and then down towards the right through that loop and pull that all the way through and I want to repeat over the left form a diagonal here at the back of this circle, come up through the center and then down through the loop towards the left there. And then we can tighten this up closing this circle down by pulling on these two center strands and tightening up these half hitches. Then we can repeat this process all the way down the bar until we get to the required length. Once you get down to the very end here, I like to do this bottom tie off one more time. So take your center right over the center left cord and this very right hand cord take diagonally across the back, up the center and then down through that very right hand side. And same with the left, take it diagonally 
across the back and then tuck your end down through the left. And then just tighten that up. And then once you get that nice and tight, we can cut and singe some ends and then tie a button. I'm going to cut these excess yellow pieces off, so just cut them off with a pair of scissors and then singe the end with a lighter. And then I like to use the lighter just to press it flat so it doesn't pull back through the knot. And we can repeat that over the other side. A lot of people like the diamond knot so if you like this one I'll leave a link to the tutorial on how to tie it and I'm going to tie just a simple button here. I'm going to take the right hand strand underneath both of the core strands and I'm going to take this left hand one over the top of both just to form a loop on either side I'm going to take this right strand up through the right loop and the left strand down through the left loop and then to tighten I'm just going to pull these strands directly outwards and that's our finished button. I just need to cut and singe these ends and the bracelet is done. So I've cleaned up the button here and that's the finished product front and back. Please share this video because that allows me to keep providing you guys with free content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.